So this is a summary of everything that you learned in the investigation. So remember, any number raised to the exponent of 0 is 1. So 7 to the 0 would be 1. 1 half to the 0 would be 1. Now this one's an interesting one because it combines some of the work that we did with negative bases and what happens when there's brackets or no brackets. So remember that 0 is considered to be an even number. So remember when there are brackets and the, ex the negative gets repeated an even number of times, our answer will be positive. So this one will be positive 1. Now this one we need to be thinking about very carefully. There are no brackets. And so what that means, remember it means that we do 2 to the 0 first and then we have this 1 negative in front. So really it means negative 1 times 2 to the 0. Well, if we were doing that then, our answer would actually be negative 1. So be careful with ones like that. So remember, anything to the exponent of 0 is 1. This one is just, it's not an exception to the rule. 2 to the 0 is 1. But when we multiply that by the negative 1, our answer becomes negative 1. So that last one is a tricky one. Let's look at what happens with negative exponents. So remember, how do we make an exponent positive? Well, we take the reciprocal of the base. And then, once the exponent is positive, we can evaluate. So remember, the reciprocal of 5 is 1 over 5 to the 3. If you don't know what 5 to the 3 is, use your calculator. But don't use your calculator to figure out 5 to the negative. So this will be 1 over 125. Remember, when there's a fraction, the reciprocal of 3 over 4 is just 4 over 3. It's really important that you keep the brackets, because if you don't keep the brackets, you're not doing it to both the top and the bottom number. So this one will become 16 over 9. Next one is a little bit tricky, because we have a negative base and a negative exponent. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do the reciprocal. The reciprocal of negative 2 is 1 over negative. And that makes our exponent positive. We're going to keep the brackets because the question had brackets. And then we're going to evaluate. Because this had, it had brackets, but the negative repeated three times, our answer will be negative. Again, remember, it doesn't matter where that negative sign goes. It can go on the top, it can go on the bottom, it can go in front, as long as you have a negative. Next one is very similar. So we do the reciprocal of the base. But this time, negative 2 repeated 4 times becomes positive 16. So that's just something to be looking out for. Um, you can also write this as that. That is equivalent. You can write it this way or you can write it this way. Because 1 to the anything will still be 1. So both of those are fine. You kind of write it the way that you prefer to write it. So the general rule is any number to a negative exponent, we do the reciprocal of the base, and that makes the exponent positive. When there's a fraction, same thing, reciprocal of the base, that makes the exponent positive. What happens when you have exponent rules? Well, you do the same thing. If the bases are the same and you're multiplying, you add the exponents. So in this case, the bases are all 4. We're multiplying. We can add. So negative 2 plus 4 plus negative 5 is negative 3. So that becomes 4 to the negative 3. Then, I'm just going to move this one out of the way. Then we can evaluate that. And how do we evaluate it? Well, we make the exponent positive by using the reciprocal, and we get our answer. So again, we're not relying on our calculator. We're using the rules that we know, the things that we've learned, and we've, we're putting in place the things that we've learned. Here, our bases are the same, and we're dividing. So what we do is subtract. Be careful, because you are subtracting a negative. So watch out. Remember, we can add the opposite, and we actually get negative 1 when we do that. So just watch out for that one. We keep the brackets. Again, we do the reciprocal. And we evaluate. Where you put that negative, it's up to you. It does not matter as long as you have one. So the last one 
is the power to a power rule. And with that, we multiply the exponents. And to evaluate, again, how do we evaluate? We use the reciprocal of the base, and that makes our exponent positive. So the reciprocal of 2 is 1 over 2. That makes our 8 positive, and then we evaluate. And you probably aren't sure what 2 to the 8 is off the top of your head. You might use your calculator to figure out what 2 to the 8 is, and then you write down the answer. But don't use your calculator to figure out what 2 to the negative 8 is, because more likely than not, your calculator will give you a decimal answer. And regardless, you're not really using your brain then, right? We don't want to have the calculator do all the work. We want you to do the work. And the calculator is just kind of a backup in case you need it for a couple calculations. So again, you're going to have an opportunity to ask questions, but have a look at this and then um, you know, write down any questions you might have so that you can ask them in class.